Many of us are afraid of personal statement. Why? Because we don't really understand ourselves. Hi guys, Jai is back. Today, go straight to the topic and discuss about personal statement because it's super important and it's something that scares most of the people when it comes to applying to college. The first thing that might come up to your mind is, oh my god, I need to prepare for personal statement and don't worry, I know how you feel right now and I went through that. So if you are here concerning what to be included in your personal statement, yeah, this is the right video for you and I hope my sharing will be helpful for you guys. And let's start. So for your information, I'm Jia from Malaysia and I'm an international applicant. So currently, I'm waiting for my Alabama result, which will soon to be out. And I'm super super nervous. Hopefully, it will be good. So I will be going to uni soon. So my personal statement got myself for for an interview offer from Cambridge and an admission test offer from Imperial, as well as offer from UCL, Manchester, and Doha. So today, I will focus on these few parts. So first, what is a personal statement? And secondly, what is the Format of a UK personal statement. And third, to how to start drafting your personal statement, which is super super important. You need to start drafting right now. And fourth, what to be included as a bonus mark for your personal statement. And fifth, I'll be sharing my personal experience for computer science personal statement. So if you intend to study computer science in the future, so first. What is a personal statement? So you can refer to my previous video about how to apply to Cambridge and Oxford. A bit about personal statement. Hopefully you got an idea about generally what is a personal statement. And this is something for Malaysian that we when we want to apply to local university or we don't have to write a personal statement. It is not a must, but for UK and US, we need to write about ourselves recommendation letter from us to the admission to talk about ourselves, our ambition, what have we done in order to prepare to study this course. Basically, it's for you to tell about your story and related to the academic side, like how well you do in school, what makes you different from other candidates. Everyone has different experience in life, like the activities that you took part. Everyone is unique and you are unique. So personal statement is not as scary as it might sound. After you have gone through Right. I think a personal statement you will sort of like know yourself better what you truly want to pursue for your tertiary at <laughs> truly you wanted to pursue for your tertiary education it's a time for you to deeply about what course that interests you the most your career in the future yeah second the format of a UK personal statement the first UK personal statement is different from the personal statement that if you want to apply to US university first UK personal statement is highly academic based 80% related to your academic side 20% is more um, about your extra curriculum activities that might not relevant to the course that you wanted to study if I want to study computer science so 80% I must talk about like I do some coding during my free time and 20% I can maybe I will share about how oh, I am an online seller something that is significant and something that is, I would say would impress the admission team yeah if you want to like study engineering course maybe you can 80% talk about project that you have done maybe you have built some models before maybe you have read a book about engineering um building something or like physics and can have discussion in your personal statement the 20% maybe out of the topic or maybe you are a uh, sports person that sports a trip music related show that you are well-rounded applicant so it's not about studying sometimes yeah Please keep in mind that UK is highly um, academic based So third, how to start drafting your personal statement First, take your paper out right now Ask yourself these few questions What have you done for the past few years? All of your academic certificate So this is for you not to miss out anything related to your course So I always have these, have these files like um, all of the certificates in school so so if you guys have this file like um, to keep all of your certificates do take it out and so that when I went through this my certificates file I just realized I have parted a lot of activities or competition before that I really I already forgot it and it's good to like look through all this and I just realized mm, I'm actually mm, quite 
good student. <laughs> yeah, so so it's good to refer to something that you have compiled before. This so this certificate folder that I always keep for anything that I like I participate before. Like I participated before. So after listing out all these things, you circle it out. One is related to the course that you want to study. Like I've mentioned before, if you are studying like a computer science, maybe you can um, mention about the, the robotic or math. Yeah, something that shows that your math is quite math is also quite important for computer science. Yeah. Talk about the common mistake for prisoner segment. So first is about reading many people that you have read what blah, blah, blah books in your personal statement so i think listing out all of the books that you have read before is not so important because mm, the admission i don't think the admission team want to know which books that you have read before but only if you have something to say about the book like maybe the book inspires you which topic that the books inspires you and what so if you have something to elaborate from the book i think it's good so you have something that discuss with like the content of the book to discuss with i think it's good to mention but if you're just listing out the book's name and i just don't think that is necessary for me for me i feel like it's not so necessary secondly is the common mistake i found that most most of us might do yeah i did yeah I, I did that before but i just realized that you don't just state but elaborate and explain this is a mistake that i found i previously fell into but after referring some of the good personal statement that i found through online i realized that most of the good personal statement the personal statement of oxbridge candidate that i found most of them are super well written and because they they went in depth to discuss about the research and they would write about their opinions and their ideas not just uh, stating third is young i have a huge interest um my interest in math starts when i was one year old and i realized i love math since young i love math since i was born I love physics since I was born. Moment when the apple fell, the moment when the apple fell onto my head, and I realized, yeah, this is not necessary. Most of us thought that talking about interest that you are fond of your subject since young, but I, so if you are really so okay, if you are not, just don't write it because that's something that is very cliche. I would say um, the admission team they know um not like me i wanted to study computer science maybe just one or two years ago just have interest in it so think of like when you fall in love with someone personal statement is not scary at all just imagine personal statement as your lover when you wanted to tell your lover how much you love them you are you are not just stating but you of course you have done something before so that you can state right oh i buy milk tea uh, i i bought that for you remember it yeah if you love a subject of course you have done something for it right but so if you didn't how can you tell you really love it I would suggest you to start doing something, at least one or two activities related to Imagine your lover, uh, imagine you like a boy or girl and you tell them you love, them, you, you love him or her but you didn't do anything before so yeah that just tell everything <laughs> So conclude, action speaks louder than words, don't just tell but do so last is about personal sharing how I prepare for my personal statement. Shout out to my teachers because they help me a lot. They they help me to proofreading my personal statement. So if you started earlier, you can show your draft to your trusted tutor, the senior, and also some communities that they offer going through your personal statement for free of charge. So you may seek for additional help. Since I've applied for computer science, I listed all the activities that I've done before like building simple application with my friends and some math competitions 
learning coding by my own like Coursera something like that I'm reading books so you may have deep discussion about coding in your personal statement and also what do you wish to learn from the course you wanted to apply so that you can like apply it in your life so personally uh, for the 20% extra curriculum activities I include something that is related to my online business I talk about data analysts related to computer science yep that's it for today's video and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys so my result will be out soon yeah super super nervous right now hopefully i will get the grades that i want i'll be vlogging my uni life in the future so stay tuned for more videos guys thank you so much for supporting this channel i'm grateful for every single comment that i receive in this channel because actually i didn't um like share share this channel to any one of my friends so just keep it a secret i manage another youtube channel but as mostly spoken in mandarin so this is a secret channel actually so hope you guys enjoy my video see you guys next time bye bye